happened to our city? Here it is mid-November. Already, Portland has surpassed a grim milestone. The city seeing more homicides by gunfire this year than last year, and that sets a new record. And in the most recent case, early yesterday, a man shot and killed on Southeast 122nd and Ash Street. Let's get to our Liz Birch joining us live from Central Precinct now. Digging deeper into the gun violence numbers, it is a disturbing trend, Liz. Yeah, it certainly is, Liz, when we've been following closely the last two years. Now, I talked to police today. They tell me 69 people were killed by gunfire last year. They say this year already 70. And when it comes to the total number of homicides, we're on pace right now to surpass last year's record. I guess I saw the police lights about 1.30-ish. Neighbors tell us they didn't hear gunshots from the most recent homicide in southeast Portland, but woke up to police lights flashing outside their homes. Annette DiSalvo was inside with her cat, Tiger, when she noticed the investigation on the street outside. There is a cop driving around. I asked her what happened, and she told me that somebody was shot in the lung. She wasn't sure if they were going to make it or not. I heard later on the news he did not. He died as soon as he got to the hospital. According to police, no one has been arrested, and at this point, they haven't released any suspect information. They say in total there have been nearly 1,200 shootings, injuring 344 people. There have been 85 homicides so far this year. That does not include three officer-involved shootings that killed people. Last year, Portland set a grim record with 90 total homicides. That's much higher than the 20-year average of 28 homicides a year. And DeSalvo says in the past five years, there's been a lot of death and violence on her street, including shootings, stabbings, and drug overdoses. I can hear gunshots, I can hear the cars, I can hear um, fireworks. It's not the first time, and it won't be the last time. And if you do have information about this latest homicide, we have information on coin.com about how you can reach out to police. I also want to mention where that homicide happened. The same area, Safe Thrust Village, is set to go up soon. Live in downtown Portland, Liz Birch, Coin 6 News. All right.